Honourable Speaker, a multinational corporation which currently has paid for plasma clinics operating in Saskatchewan is interested in setting up similar clinics in BC. When Mr. Justice Horace Creever completed his inquiry into the tainted blood scandal, he specifically recommended against paying donors for their blood. He said safety was the primary reason for his recommendations, and the World Health Organization today maintains that same position. Victims of the tainted blood scandal and their families are here in the gallery today calling for a ban on these clinics in BC. Ontario and Quebec already have bans in place on blood and uh, on selling blood and blood products. Will the Minister of Health stand up today and stand with the survivors of the tainted blood scandal and the blood advocates in the gallery today and support a ban on pay for plasma clinics in BC? Minister of Health. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Um, it's really important uh, that people understand that uh, technology for handling and processing blood products has advanced dramatically uh, in the past 30 years. Health Canada is responsible for regulating the safety of Canada's blood system, and manufacturers of plasma-based products must be licensed and must meet the stringent quality and safety standards of Health Canada. Canadian Blood Services, Honourable Speaker, has assured uh, all of us that the technology and systems now in place uh, for these types of products uh, safeguard the uh, supply of these products. Uh, Honourable Speaker, the Canadian Haemophilia Society states that paid plasma donation is not a health risk. And Honourable Speaker, while the member notes that some provinces have banned uh, the, sale, uh, uh, the, uh, the sale of paid plasma products, they haven't banned the use of paid plasma products because, in fact, British Columbians and Canadians are saved by paid plasma products. The, the paid donors are in the United States and in Europe, but in fact, 80% of the plasma uh, protein supply currently comes from paid plasma. Honourable Speaker, we, are, we do not take an ideological position on this. Honourable Speaker, our concern is for the patients whose lives are saved by an important medicine derived from plasma products. Member for New Westminster on a supplemental. Honourable Speaker, the World Health Organization is crystal clear that by the year 2020, they want all countries in the world to stop paying for plasma and have a strictly voluntary system for blood donation. And in terms of supply of our blood products, Honourable Speaker, there is no guarantee whatsoever that this multinational corporation will use that blood here in British Columbia. They will sell it to the highest bidder around the world, Honourable Speaker. And what about the ethics? What about the ethics of turning blood into a commodity? In the US, in the US and elsewhere, pay for plasma clinics have set up next to payday loan shops and pawn shops in Catlantine. A co-founder of Bloodwatch said recently, Question. plasma is li literally being farmed off the veins of the poor. Question. We have laws that ban the sale of organs and human tissue. Why would we treat blood any differently? Will the minister support a ban on pay for plasma clinics today? Minister of Health. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Honourable Speaker, the, the World Health Organization may want to ban the use of paid uh, plasma donors by 2020. So what would they say? What would they say to the member's family uh, uh, that needed, critically needed, the plasma proteins derived from a supply that is only 20 per cent supplied by the voluntary market? What would the member say to a family who say, I'm sorry, we, we do not use uh, paid plasma products, so we can't treat your uh, inherited disease? What would the member say to those families? Honourable Speaker, the reality is only 20 per cent of our plasma proteins are supplied by the voluntary market. Currently, and we spend $175 million every year with Canadian Blood Services, currently 80 per cent 
of the plasma protein products come from paid donors. Would we rather they be from the United States than here in British Columbia? That is a question for society to deal with, Honourable Speaker. I know this. Lives are saved with plasma proteins, and if we don't get them from the supply we currently have, they, those lives would not be saved.